what you what you already know built over the last 10 years on on instead of how not to do things what would be your learnings and 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 in terms of the monetization and how that uh in the mind of an event organizer the 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 skills and and what's missing what is the missing link between an event organizer shifting into online community how that can be what can be learned because it seems that you've, you've done that kind of transition and then you are man you're seeing companies that are managing this transition pretty efficiently i don't know if that made any sense at all well i don't yeah i mean i'm not the broad principles um in, haven't changed in only in as far as um human psychology and brains haven't changed you know we we're, we're not any different than we were from hundreds of thousands of years ago you know in the fight and flight and trust mechanisms and stuff so i don't you know, community itself is not not any different. I mean, there's obviously new channels like digital and mobile and things, and, and social media have come up, but they still operate based on you know, human emotions. If you've seen, you know, the social dilemma, uh, they, they engineer and play on human psychology very very cle um, cleverly. But um, so I think the interesting thing with, um, but even if you have a parallel with um, print. Um, so, um, you know, I remember when we were acquired, when e-consulting was acquired by Centaur, e-consulting had always been sort of always on digital, social, 24-7, um, uh, and we didn't do print. And then whereas Marketing Week, which is a sister brand of ours, then had a weekly magazine. And the whole operating rhythm of the business and it was sort of, you know, going towards press day and that this thing had to physically be printed and had to be sent out. There's, not, there's no plan B, really. It's, it has to happen that way. And events are a bit like that, where there's... There's a point in time, even if it's whether it's virtual or physical, where this thing is happening. I mean, unless it actually kind of gets cancelled, um, and so the, the the gearing around that, the operational kind of rhythms around this big surge of activity, and then on to the next thing. And so they, it's just not. And even I, you know, it's a generalisation, but the kind of people I suspect who are really good at events and thrive on events. Uh, love maybe that buzz and excitement for bringing together and then they want to move on to the next thing whereas you know the the community people often actually I would say are more likely to be more introverted um, you know more it's a bit more in the same way you've got a difference between in editorial people between an analyst and a, and a news hound journalist you know they're both editorial but they're very different in the way that they you know one wants to get you know, write a great in-depth report and not be disturbed in their ivory tower. One's out there, you know, hustling for the news story. It's both content, but they're different kinds of people. So I think the the challenge with um, events is that you know we worked a lot with UBM, now part of Informa, obviously, and they were an amazing events, still are an amazing events machine. But they always they always talked, and I remember talking to them a lot about well, we want to do content and community, but they just really struggle to do it. And I think. In the end, they sort of seem to have said, apart from some parts of the business, um, actually, no, we're just going to do events and that's fine. They do events well. But if you're going to do community or content in that form, it does. It's just it's a slightly different way of being and a different kind of mindset and things. And so if it's not in your and you kind of need that in the leadership's DNA, I think. So I think that, that the danger here is if you if you're a brilliant events person, you think I should be doing community. You've got to kind of care about it, uh, uh, probably, or, or, or somehow get this mindset or not do it, you know, just say, no, it's fine, you know, just stick to events. That's what you're good at. Um, so, yeah, it's um, it's a sort of mindset or a skill set or a way of being. And certainly for me, and I think for a lot of the sort of community things, they are, they feel that community bit and events, you know, with Econ Society, we started with the community and then we went to paid content or membership subscription so some free some paid then we went into events and then into training so it was and all of those things were just a an extension of the community whereas if you're doing it the other way around it's it's different isn't it i mean you're coming at it from a you know events point of view and then you've got to kind of create the community that's already kind of there but you don't necessarily sort of own it or you know touch it year round as it were so yeah it's just um i yeah, I, I suppose it's what people are passionate and, and good at. Good at, and, and I don't actually think that's really changed in the last 20, 30 years, or possibly ever, really. Yeah, and then just to close that thought is that because for some um, entrepreneurs, it feels like a 
step back. If you notice, you started a community early, organically, it grew, then membership, then events. So someone that is a pure play events, big, large scale events, doing a community of smaller scale or something like that, it feels like a step back. And that's kind of why it's a bit difficult to, I guess, articulate or to, to, to see how does, how does this whole thing fit? Um, you're telling me about smaller, devoting time, spending time, money, resource in it and everything. So more so than that is a, a shift in mindset. And finally, the final thought on to, to close on that is that for me personally, where I've seen the most successful online communities have always had its leader, the business owner behind them. So is the business owner moderating the sessions? Is the business owner talking to uh, fostering conversation is the business owner talking to the customer services kind of the person that is not happy that is is, is kind of where i've seen where that belonging and, and, and that success kind of uh, happens